Blood's box replacements Zane Davids and Miller Duplessis arrived in New Zealand late on Tuesday evening. The next day, the pair joined another Springbok Sevens rookie, Skumbuzo Notche, at a traditional Maori welcome ceremony at the Fairfield Intermediary School in Hamilton. The event, part of New Zealand Rugby's community outreach program, is to ensure hosting the New Zealand Sevens in Hamilton will leave a legacy. Cheers, um, I had goosebumps out there. Um, it was really nice, good experience, um, learning uh, the Maori culture, um, a bit of it. You know, um, it's a new thing for me. I've been to New Zealand a couple of times, but I've never experienced something like that. Um, it's, it's certainly something that I'll take back home with me. You know, it's really something sentimental to them. And it really touched me in a way, although I'm not Maori, I'm South African, but it really touched me. The ceremony ended with a traditional haka. For almost all the visiting players, who included members of the Wales, Russia, Spain, Samoa and Argentina teams, a first taste of this tradition which has become synonymous with New Zealand rugby. I think this was one of the few experiences that I ever saw before to see the children do the haka and seeing haka live, it really gave me goosebumps. And to see that the children love seeing like, rug rugby players. Three months ago, Duplessis was still at school. Today, he found himself in the inner circles of the Sevens World Series champions. Duplessis will be player number 13, but with the attrition rate quite high, there's a strong likelihood he could play. So the camera is basically the same as the Blitzbalker's training, so we train with the Blitzbalker. Uh, it helps a lot if you get the call up whenever it might be. So when you get on to the, playing with the Blitzbalker, you don't need a lot of time to uh, fit into the system. Uh, so yeah, it helps a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of sevens this year. Um, yeah, I'll use every opportunity that I uh, get. So um, yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, I think it's a good developing phase, phase of my life, uh, especially so early playing with the older guys and uh, just learning from them. After Hamilton, the team will lose Kwaha Smith, Tim Agaba, Siabelo Sinatla and Noche, who all return to their Super Rugby franchises. Noche remains focused on the 15s code, but the experience with the Blitzbox has whet his appetite for more exposure to the shortened version of the game. It's the people that I work with that make, will probably make the appetite because there's a, there's a good culture that goes around here. And obviously what lies ahead, which is the Commonwealth and the Sevens and you know, in the World Cup and all of those lists, that's a lot of things happening this year. So, you know, there's an appetite there.